in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is ozone depletion and its effects. Now from where this word ozone comes? The word ozone comes from the Greek verb ozine which means smelly. As ozone layer has a distinctive odor. Now basically ozone is an allotropic form of oxygen and the word allotropic means in which one element can exist in more than one type. So oxygen molecules are photolyzed yielding two oxygen atoms. It's a slow reaction and when these oxygen atoms combine with oxygen molecules, they form ozone layer. This ozone layer protects us from ultraviolet radiations of sun and no doubt that these radiations are quite harmful. Ozone is lost by a reaction of the oxygen atom or the ozone molecule with each other or some other trace gas such as chlorine and we give chlorine into the atmosphere by means of chlorofluorocarbons. So now here is the equation by which you can memorize it easily. Ozone is an allotropic form of oxygen consisting of three oxygen atoms. It is formed in atmosphere by the association of an oxygen atom with an oxygen molecule. And where it occurs? It is present in the mid of stratosphere. Now here is a very important question that why ozone is depleting and what are its effects? Ozone is present throughout the atmosphere. But its maximum concentration called ozone layer lies in stratosphere region and which is about 25 to 30 km away from the earth's surface. This layer surrounds the globe and protects earth like a shield from harmful ultraviolet radiations of sunlight. These radiations are quite harmful and powerful that they can even cause skin cancer. Now if this ozone layer is not present, what gonna be happened? Ultraviolet radiations would cause skin cancer. They will reach to us directly. There will be no shield be between us and in the atmosphere. Thus, ozone layer in stratosphere is beneficial for life on Earth. Now you can visualize it. When sun is giving its ultraviolet rays, these rays are moving towards the Earth. But ozone layer is acting as a shield between the sun and the Earth. In this way, these harmful radiations are not directly reaching to us. But what gonna be happened when this ozone layer have a hole in it? These ultraviolet rays of sun reach directly to the earth. And this occur due to the depletion of ozone layer by chlorofluorocarbons. Now, under normal conditions, the ozone concentration is balanced because under normal conditions ozone concentration in stratosphere remains constant due to reactions, complex atmospheric reactions. Two reactions that maintain a balance in ozone concentrations are when oxygen molecule combines with oxygen atom. It gives ozone layer and when this ozone layer again reacts with oxygen atom it gives oxygen molecule 
So in this way, formation and decomposition both are occurring. But this ozone layer is being depleted through various chemical reactions. Now how ozone layer is depleting? It is depleting because of chlorofluorocarbons. These chlorofluorocarbons used as a refrigerants in air conditioners and refrigerators are the major cause of ozone depletion. These compounds leak in one way or other, escape and diffuse to stratosphere. The ultraviolet radiations of sun break the carbon-chlorine bond in chlorofluorocarbons and generate chlorine-free radicals. And do you know that even one chlorine atom can destroy hundreds and thousands of ozone molecules. So it's quite destructive. This ozone layer is depleting due to chlorofluorocarbons because chlorofluorocarbons are generating nascent or free radicals of chlorine into the stratosphere. These free radicals of chlorine, when react with ozone layer, they convert ozone layer into oxygen molecules. As we know that oxygen molecule and ozone layer are the allotropic forms of oxygen element. So there is nascent oxygen atom which are formed by the chlorine radicals. Then join together to give oxygen molecule instead of ozone layer. So in this way, chlorofluorocarbons are the main cause of depletion of ozone layer. As chlorofluorocarbons are the main cause of ozone depletion, a single chlorine-free radical by the decomposition of chlorofluorocarbons is capable of destroying up to many lakhs of ozone molecules. The region in which ozone layer depletes is called ozone hole. Signs of ozone depletion were first noticed over Antarctica in 1980s and since 1990s depletion has also been recorded over the Arctic as well. So by this way it's increasing day by day and the cause is pollution chlorofluorocarbons and the other gases and many more activities which were done by humans. Now these are the drastic effects of ozone depletion. Depletion of ozone enables ultraviolet radiations of sun to reach to the earth and that cause skin cancer to human beings and other animals. Decreased ozone layer will increase infectious diseases like malaria. It can change the life cycle of plants, disrupting the food chain. Now the last but not the least, a very important effect. It can change the wind patterns, resulting in the climatic changes all over the world, especially Asia and Pacific will be the most affected regions facing climatic induced migration of people crisis. So these are some harmful effects of ozone layer depletion. Thank you so much. For more videos, keep watching. Have a great day.